Hi guys, welcome back to my channel uh, and another beer review of course. First of all I want to say uh, that I'm really glad that you're watching. I hope you like my beer reviews and that you want to continue to follow my channel. It's really appreciated. Um, today I'm having a beer that I'm quite excited about. Uh, it's a beer that I haven't tried before. It's from Austria, so it's my first beer from Austria on this channel. Uh, I think it will be mainly, maybe only beers from Austria, Germany and Czech Republic on this channel since uh, it's beers from those countries that I prefer uh, because um, of the style of the beer in those countries but also the quality. Um, so I think uh, those countries are outstanding. Um, the beer I'm having today is um, called uh, Eggenberg Hopfenkönig. I'll show you the label, looks like this. And the back label do you have right here. Um, it's um, 5.1 volume of alcohol. Um, Brauerei Schloss Eggenberg, Forsch Dorf Salzkammergut in Austria. Um, link to the um, brewery's website is also here. I link to the, it in the description box below, as always. Um, Zutaten, Wasser, Gersten, Malz, Hopfen means ingredients, water, barley malt, hops, hop extract. Um, this, uh, this is an interesting beer. I uh, can say that already. I'm gonna start about, as always, uh, to speak a little bit uh, about the brewery and the information about uh, the beer and so on. Um, The magnificent Schloss Eggenberg is located on the western outskirts of Graz. It was conferred to Prince Hans Ulrich von Eggenberg 1538-1634, that was the years when he was alive, who was minister to Emperor Ferdinand II. The architecture and design were strongly influenced by the natural ph philosophers of the time, such as Johannes Kepler and Giordano Bruno. Schloss Eggenberg has belonged to the Forstinger Stör family for over 200 years, and beer has been brewed there since the 1300s. Commercial production began in 1681. Schloss Eggenberg Hopfenkönig is an excellent pilsner, brewed with the famous Saas hops. Hopfenkönig has a very dry hops aroma with some bitter malty tones. The taste is full, with a dry hops character and a rich fruity malt. There is a bitterness, but it's not very strong. It has a thick, bready taste, reminiscent of a German malt beer. The aftertaste is mild and slightly roasted with a honey-like sweetness and aromatic hops. The carbonic acid is fine with some microscopic bubbles. The large malt content gives this beer an almost thick mouthfeel. Hopfenkönig is claimed to be Schloss Eggenberg's most successful beer in the Austrian market. It's a Pilsner type beer with a slight hops bitter taste and it's ripened slowly. Hopfenkönig is brewed exclusively from natural ingredients in accordance with the German purity law from 1516. So, one of the um, biggest breweries in uh, Austria, as far as I've understood. Uh, there will be more beers from Austria in the future, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's time for uh, opening it up. And 
the port up. Say um, the yellow pale color uh, with a nice head. As always, with a, with a bear from this type, looking really good. Um, nice big white head is important to keep the the taste in the bear. As I always say. Um, That. Um, it's a really, really nice color to it. Easy to see it through. Um, fragrance is also very, very interesting and um, and great to think. So. Um, I, uh, I really have um, high expectations, and um, as well, it's nice to to find new new beers that um, it's in in my taste, in my opinion. Yeah, let's taste it. Yeah. was um, as I described it before it's um, a great taste of um, Pilsner style um, like a, like a German Pilsner style I would say a great quality even though it's uh, from Austria it has the uh, of course it it's easy to say uh, while uh, describing the taste that is it's um, like a German pills um, when it comes to taste. But yeah, it's great. Um, it's a beer that I recommend, even though it's might not be very easy to find um, which uh, is sad because it should be something that you should um, manage or uh, try to find and uh, in one way or another I think you uh, you will be able to get it yeah I just want you to uh, to try it because um, everyone should have um, have um, an experience with uh, trying this one. I think. Great fresh taste, well balanced, really nice uh, Austrian pilsner. Yeah, I don't know what more to say actually. Um, so this is the um, the review for today. See you tomorrow again.